Welcome to the Man United stream. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good day. In today's show, we're going to be discussing that 2-1 win against Sheffield United. Yes, we got the job done. It wasn't impressive. It wasn't a good performance by Man United, but we got the job done and Ten Hag must be a relieved man this morning. Also in today's show, we're going to be discussing the news that Man United might be on the brink of appointing a new director of football. We're hearing that Ineos want Paul Mitchell to become the new director of football and that could be a reality within the next couple of weeks but before we kick off today's show please hit that like button on this video and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the Man United stream channel but let's kick off today's show with the sad news of the passing of Sir Bobby Charlton we heard the sad news yesterday before the kickoff of the game that he had sadly passed away we pass our condolences on to all of his family and friends it is devastating news for the Man United family to lose such a legend of the game and the club he epitomised everything good about Man United. He was such an amazing, amazing person. And yesterday, after the hearing of his passing, we tweeted out how irreplaceable he will be at United. He was always there helping the players, talking to the managers and always telling them of what the importance was of playing for Man United and being a part of this club. He epitomised everything great about United. Now I remember when I was a little kid I picked up this book on Man United and it had a chapter in there about the Munich air disaster and I read that chapter and it was about Sir Bobby Charlton as well surviving that air crash and it was really really interesting to read everything about him and what he did after that how he overcame all them obstacles how he must have seen his fellow teammates dying and still getting over that and coming onto that pitch and performing and doing something that no one else has ever done before he was an absolute legend and that word legend we throw around these days through everyone oh icon a legend but this guy actually was a legend he was absolutely deserving of that title and everyone at the club knew how important he was to the success of Man United and I remember shortly after reading that book I became a Man United fan not because I knew that they were a top team not because I knew that Sir Alex Ferguson was there managing them or winning titles or doing anything good in fact I had no idea what Man United's legacy was when I first started spotting them the only reason why I became a Man United fan was because of reading that book on Man United and reading about the air disaster and reading about Sir Bobby Charlton I realised that this was the club for me because of the way they dealt with not the positives but the negatives how the club and the players that survived overcame such a huge disaster and I realized that is what I wanted from a club a club that could actually rise from the ashes a club that could actually do well even in the face of adversity and that is what Sir Bobby Charlton summed up for me and Sir Bobby Charlton will be missed not just by the Man United family but the entire footballing world so really really sad to hear that news yesterday I really struggled to even watch the game after hearing that news I don't know what the players were like I wasn't expecting a great performance and that's what we got but hats off to all the players that went out there played and got that win for him and it was really important for all Man United fans to sit there and think for a moment about Sir Bobby Charlton and what he did for this great great club and the whole story concerning the Munich air disaster and Sir Bobby Charlton fills me with optimism because I know no matter what happens at Man United, no matter what's happening right now with the Glazers, we will get through it. We will become a great club again and I keep telling all Man United fans to stick with it, to always think positive, think back to the Munich air disaster, think back to Sir Bobby Charlton and what he did for Man United. We will always overcome adversity and that is what is important about Man United and being a Man United fan we will always succeed no matter what it's always difficult to lose people like Sir Bobby Charlton in this world because you know you're not going to get another one like him and that is what saddens a lot of people a lot of fans out there because you know he is irreplaceable you're not going to get someone like him ever again now after hearing this sad news on Sir Bobby Charlton and his passing away our players and Eric Ten Hag had to go out there and play away from home at Bramall Lane against Sheffield United, a team that hadn't been doing too well, but we knew that this news 
surrounding Sir Bobby Charlton's death would have definitely affected the players. So looking back at that game last night against Sheffield United, Man United did not play particularly well, but the most important thing was that Man United went out there, got the win and got them three points in the bag. And that was thanks to an absolute screamer from Diego Dallo. What a goal that was. We were not expecting that, but it was going to take something like that to break the deadlock and get the win. And that deserved to win the game. In fact, that goal was absolutely brilliant. And I'm sure everyone hats off to him. Brilliant goal. And Man United did deserve to win the game. They weren't playing really well, but they were the better team. And Sheffield United were defending most of the second half. Now, Man United were still playing with a makeshift defence in last night's game with Harry Maguire and Johnny Evans playing as centre-backs. Now, saying that, Harry Maguire actually had a very, very good performance. He got the man of the match and deservedly so. Now, in other news concerning Man United, we are hearing Ratcliffe's takeover of that 25% at Man United is very, very close. We've got another week or two to wait and this will get finalised and done. And the first move that Ineos and Ratcliffe want to make is to bring in a sporting director at Man United. And the person that they're looking to tap up is Paul Mitchell. Now, he's worked with other the clubs previously he was last at Monaco seems like he's got a very impressive CV he's also worked with Ralph Raniak in the past which is really interesting for Leipzig which is going to be interesting to see what he actually brings to Man United if that actually happens these are just rumours they are being reported that this is what Ineos wants this is what Ratcliffe wants but we all know that Joel Glazer has the final say at who comes in and out of Man United and if he does not want a sporting director in Paul Mitchell we will not be getting him. We'll bring you further developments and news on this sporting director role and whether this is actually going to happen or not at Man United. That is it for today's show. Please make sure you hit that like button on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. You're watching the Man United stream, a channel by the fans for the fans.